Review Co. provided by Head Up Games for ladiesgamers.com where you can find my written review. Runbo is a 2D platformer party game developed by 13AM Games. It was first released for Wii U in 2015 and was an absolute gem. It has since been ported to Windows, New Nintendo 3DS, Xbox One and now Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4. A physical release will be coming later this year. This copy of Runbo did not come with the DLC which will release separately on the eShop. Runbo's main feature is that platforms are made of various colours. Waves of one colour will wash through the background from one side to another. Then, if a platform matches that colour, it will disappear and you cannot land on it. Each level has set colour palettes and will go through them in order. The next colour will peek from the side before sweeping over, giving you some warning. Run is the first of the three multiplayer modes, although you can play it by yourself if you feel inclined. The goal is to reach the end of the level and touch the trophy. There is a jump, double jump, punch and a boost that also works as a punch. Runbo supports up to 8 players. On the Wii U, the most I managed to get was 4 players and even that was hectic. There are options for difficulty, rounds of up to 100, music, power-ups and colour palette. Power-ups range from increasing speed, swapping places, turning the game upside down or making it black and white. The other two modes are Arena and King of the Hill. The Arena mode is to simply be the last one standing. The stages are varied and can be quite small. Some might use the pallet swapping either. It's very fast and fun. Even dying on accident is funny. King of the Hill is similar, except that you have to stand on a platform for a countdown to win. The counter doesn't reset if you fall off, but it does stop if someone else is on the spot. Sometimes a platform can be of a colour above a pit or have hazards come into it. We preferred Arena mode over this one. Run, Arena and King of the Hill can be played online. I was unable to test this as I got the game before release and couldn't find anyone in the rooms. The adventure mode is technically the single player mode, but you can still play it in co-op. Sometimes this can be helpful as I could uppercut my brother onto a platform to save him. Other times this would be detrimental as I would punch us both to our deaths. It is usually similar to run in that you have to reach the goal. Other times it requires killing a certain number of enemies or collecting coins. The boss stages are more just like hard stages with a tricky bit at the end. Then you have to punch Satura instead of walking to her like you would the trophy. There appears to be over 100 stages and you don't have to access them in a fully linear fashion. Instead it works like a grid, where beating up a level opens up a few more. They're coloured green, yellow, red and purple for difficulty. As such, it is possible to try to follow a series of easier stages if you want, although you'll still have to beat Satura. You collect medals from beating the levels within a certain time, three being the shortest. So while the levels are short, there is incentive to replay them. The Bohemoth is like a long version of Adventure Mode. As you have been swallowed by the beast, you have to work through to escape its insides. This mode is to be played in one go, as if you exit, you have to start from the start. However, there are checkpoints which makes it much more possible to accomplish. Runbo has top-notch presentation. The art style is supposedly based on the styling of Soul Bass movie posters, which lends to its fantastic visuals. All the game modes loading screens have their own posters. The adventure mode is split into four sections with their own movie poster. The music is gorgeous and speeds up on the faster pace levels to match. Whenever you die, a skull makes a little quip to you. There are quite a few of these. While they are to cover up loading times, it's still entertaining. As you play through the game, you'll earn in-game achievements. With these, you'll unlock various art, costumes and characters. The main characters, Val and Hugh, have a few colours and costumes to choose from. 13AM Games also managed to get a plethora of indie darlings in as playable characters as well, including the likes of Shantae, Commander Video and Gunbolt. The only hiccup I have with this game is that the boost is controlled by doubling the punch and this can lead to death. I did once experience frame issues on a level with lightning but not anywhere else. The Wii U version had Color Master mode where one player changed the game with the gamepad. I asked about this and it was taken out due to the lack of second screen. They did also mention that since the Wii U version the graphics have been enhanced. Runbo is an amazingly fun game to play with friends and family. Playing the adventure mode with another person is also great. I loved this game on the Wii U and I love it now. Hopefully in the future I can test the online with my Discord buddies. Though I suppose the only people I couldn't recommend this to are solo gamers until the online friends get the game too. For local co-op fans, it's a must-have. I give Runbo an 8 out of 10.